Hi viewers and today I'm going to look at this emergency stop on my CNC machine and actually how I set this up. Now this cost me about, I think it was about two or three quid. Um, it's not a very robust one, but it does the job. Um, it, for example, it didn't come out actually with um, holes here to actually screw it to the base. Now the item itself is a normally open and normally closed switch. It's got two sides to it, and I'm going to show you how I've rigged this up. So firstly, I'm going to show you how to it's undone at the front. So this is the emergency stop button. So we twist it. So when you push, it cuts the power, and you twist to reset. So I'm just going to open this up now. Basically, the red button comes off, and inside there's a flange that sits over the top that you just unscrew and that releases the system here there's a little spring here that the mechanism actually sits in so to get this whole thing off I would actually have to unscrew this um, to actually take this away as well but this is just just helps it from uh, keeping it in position and it gives something to screw it onto. And what I'm going to show, show you is actually how this is rigged up. So look inside the CNC machine itself, you can actually see where the actual safety switch is located. It actually is sunken into a hole into the um, horrible piece of MDF there. And you can see our power that comes from it here. But our main power actually comes in here and if we look at the back of the machine this is where our main power actually comes in so that's a big long cord that follows up into that switch just there sorry that uh, socket just there so going back to the machine i'm now going to actually remove this i've put this little um, connector here to make life easier and our live actually connects to the bottom here. See, these are two individual switches here. And what I'm going to do is remove this and actually show you how this is rigged up. So I've removed the actual switch itself now. And you can see our main live comes in here. And what happens is that the earth and the neutral just passes straight through, straight through this junction box to supply the switch which is just down here so this switch here so this is just basically on and off switch so the actual emergency stop is the first thing in line in the power supply so the power comes in to the emergency stop and it comes in on the right hand side of the switch here next it on the left hand side of the switch here see the the actual other one on the bottom here is for another circuit so this is a normally closed circuit so when this switch is pushed in it opens the circuit up and stops the electricity from flowing so our life comes into this into the actual emergency switch and carries on to our main switch and the neutral and the earth just carry on through on that wire so this was one piece of actually all this was one piece of wire and I just severed the actual live and just attached this switch in line with with the actual wire itself so it comes in line with the power and in line with the main switch which is just here and as you can see here's the main switch there's the live going in and the live coming out on this side if we can see it the back here and earth and neutral and earth and neutral going into this, this main switch which is on this side so that's about it really um, I'm going to put a voltmeter across this to show you what the actual switch does in the different states and we can actually see how this switch is working so I've got my voltmeter set out to measure continuity and what it will do is when there's a path, it will 
will make a sound and actually place a readout on the actual monitor there. So what I'm going to do is have a look at the the actual switch itself. So at the moment the switch is set in its normal state, so normal operation state. So the actual um, switch hasn't been depressed; it's actually open. So we should get continuity again across these two terminals, which we do. When the switch is pressed, that continuity will disappear and won't, won't get reading. So that's in the safe state now. So the power has been cut. On the other side of the switch, if I can get to there, you'll see we've got the green side. And if I measure continuity across here, remembering that the switch has been pressed now, so it's in a safe state, we should get a reading. Might be a bit tricky. It's quite tight in here. As you can tell, the reading's there. And then when we switch this off, so I twist, now it's off. There's no reading across there. So it's a two state switch. So this state on this side, we could actually have an alarm set up. So when this is depressed, the power is cut from one and the actual power is supplied to the other from a separate power supply to allow an alarm to go off. And that is the basic two, two to three quid um, safety system that I bought just from uh, off of, e uh, I think it was eBay or Amazon. Very cheap, but does the job just, just, just as well as any other. To place the switch back in, place the switch back in, all we need to do is just turn it over and you can see the um, actual divot that I machined out here, the actual space, and you just push this through and this will sit in here nice and tightly and give it in, there we go, and then on the back I'll just Screw back on the flange. That's in position now. And then add a little red disc. That's all set. So that should be working now. So we just test that. That's working absolutely fine. And that's it.